My name is Yaku Mohamed. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to do a video on my new board I produced. I uh, actually designed it here in Nigeria and uh, sent the PCB files to a company called JLC PCB in China. These guys are super amazing. They've been building my boards for me for the past two years now. And their delivery time is fast. Less than two weeks, I get my board here in Nigeria. So, uh, that is it. Okay. So, like I said, the board I'm doing a video on is actually, and uh, I call it an uh, EGS002 Pro Max. Uh, it's not different from the conventional uh, EGS you know, or that it's common on the internet. This guy is actually an XPWM card. If you're building um, solar inverters, it's one perfect device to use. But once you want to charge from me, it becomes a problem. I've seen a lot of people twerk, um, find a way of actually um, using this guy to build an inverter. But one, one challenge is they normally have it charging from mains. So I think in the past, what I did was to build similar board, but I use an ARM, an XTM 32F407. This board is amazing. It does everything that the EGS board does. And of course, uh, it has a charging function from mains and some other uh, functionalities as well. But I got to a point whereby the chip became too expensive and a lot of people are telling me that they can't afford the chip. So I decided to look at something that is cheaper. So that led me to design another board called the, I decided to call it um, EGS-02 Pro Max. EGS-02 because um, I actually mimic, uh, I practically copied the EGS um, hardware and added and a, uh, a microcontroller to it so that everything the EGS can do, uh, our EGS Pro Max can do as well. So like I said, uh, the added functionality is that with the EGS Pro Max, you can actually charge from mains. So it has a, a charging function from mains. So this is just the board I got it a few, um, a few days ago um, because of my work schedule. I couldn't do a video before now. so. In this video, so let's just look at how the signal works or how we can actually control it. So I'll just pause the video and uh, uh, connect. Okay, so this is the setup from the ECG. Okay, I forgot to say I made some some nasty errors while producing this board. You can look at as you can see, I had some wire, I added some wires to it. Some of the tracks were wrongly placed, so I had to disconnect. Then I was trying to power the EGS from a transistor. That didn't work for me, so I had to practically pull out the transistor and did some rewiring. So uh, I already posted the PCB files on, online, so for now I'm going to re-update that because I've made the changes. Um, in my next uh, design, I'll make those corrections, then I'll upload the recent changes. So as you can see, uh, I've connected already. Let me just, this is the signal. I'll just switch it up, sorry, it was on before. Okay, so it's off now. You can see that the signals are not there. Uh, like I said, it's a test. I actually wrote the test code to the AVR controller just to, I wanted to be able to test this board before I write the proper code for it. So I have a test uh, code inside of that AVR. So I'm importing. So what I, what, I did, what I did is that the previous board I had, which I called OSC board, and this board, they are pin compatible. You can practically replace this board with that one. So I tried to make this uh, new board look exactly like that. So let's say I want to put on my inverter, I'll just hold the switch down. Okay, it's on. So that's the light for the ECG that it's on. I'll put it off. Okay, it's off. Oh, um, I will need to pause this video because um, my mains has gone off. More like Nepa, don't take light. Okay, I'm back. I basically had to go and put on my generator. Okay, like I said, I had it, I have a test code. I just go to test the the ECG part, which is the, the, to test the EGS O O two uh, uh, to see how it works. So, like I said, this is the lead that came with it. So, if I want to put it on, I'll just hold down my button. Okay, it's on. It's off. Okay, so I have to cut that call. It's on. It's it's off. Okay, I'll just hold it down. Let me take this scope closer. So we'll look at the scope, the signal on this LCD, on the scope. Okay, that's the signal. 
uh, so that the water is uh, run. Other parameters have not added to it, like the main sense, uh, the temperature sensor, feedback modes, and all of that. Uh, I think in a few weeks now, in a few weeks from now, I'll actually sit down. I don't have my work and all of that. I'll have to, I need the time to actually sit down and write the code properly. And of course, once that is done, I'll share the, the modified PCB files. And of course, I'll share the code as well. So as you can see, our uh, Promax is loading. Um, uh, so far, so good. I can build an inverter with my Promax. So what functionality I need to test is the, I need to add and test is the charging functionality, which makes the ECG Promax uh, far, far better than the ECG 002. Of course, I give those guys credit because they actually, they actually give us the, the, they give us the inspiration that, okay, we can actually design sine wave uh, inverters using the XPM technology. Uh, my first uh, sine wave um, chip I program I wrote was actually, uh, I actually I have to understudy the ECG or two. So credit to those guys. Thumbs up for them for, for actually bringing up that IC. Without that, a lot of us will still be uh, designing inverters using, uh, um, so, um, what do you call, using modifying sine waves. So like I said, most of my PCB, all this, all this PCB that I have designed was actually designed by a DLC PCB. These guys are amazing. You can give them a try and see how how fast and of course how how um, good the bots can, can come out. Um, I can list tell people my video. Hit a like button and drop us a comment if you want. And always remember this is an open source. If you want to copy the code, go ahead. The code is free. If you want to build an inverter, we'll go ahead. So I, um, in our next video, I would actually test this guy on a real inverter. I will be testing it here. I will test it here, and of course, we can see how uh, it's going to going to come come out. Um, once again, thanks for taking your time to watch our video. God bless.